Yeah, so happy Sunday. I just want to talk about and just recap our coffee and consciousness event. Oh my goodness, how wonderful. So I created coffee and consciousness. I'm Melanie of Melamind and I created coffee and consciousness as a way to get well, women and beautiful souls together in Orange County, which honestly, it could be anywhere. Like if I'm traveling, I could absolutely do a coffee and consciousness. Um, so just a way for people to get together and talk about the deep soul challenging things that are happening. Let's talk about the big things. Let's talk about the money. Let's talk about the consciousness. Let's talk about the awakening and, and what you've been going through. And so through that, it becomes uh, presented as a topic. I'm making cereal. I should have made this a video. So today's topic, the first topic was commending growth. Um, month number two last month was we talked about manifesting and and what it means to us. And this month we got together and we're talking about comfort zones. <laughs> so just so you guys get an idea of my my state right now, I'm just I'm starving and I'm making a bowl of cereal, which I just implemented back into my life, and they've been so wonderful. I love cereal, cereal and almond milk and like some raisins, flax seed and bananas, bomb. It's been my go-to lately. <sighs> so that's what I'm doing right now as they create this. So sorry for the the daydreams and stuff, cause like the girl's hungry. All right, so. <laughs> We talked about comfort zones and what actually ended up, so I bring questions for us to answer, but it does end up being a flowing conversation that always lead back to the topic. And that's what's super exciting about this, um, this notion of getting people together and have them all just presenting their thoughts and their, their adventures of the said topic. And so comfort zones, we were able to even have a few people in the group who were on the opposite side of comfort zones as in I'm I'm very uncomfortable right now um, such as someone like coming here from a completely different country and they're completely out of comfort but look forward to having that comfort zone look forward to having that that just place of comfort and it's just so great i i it was it was very insightful and just great to look at so that's one of the things and then uh, comfort zones are really uh, i mean they're i i did present it as kind of a negative thing that you must get out <laughs> in light of airy season coming up the action season and the self-love season like if there's a time to audaciously fight for the life that you believe that you deserve and that you're going to put forth for yourself now is the time okay and we still have a little bit of time left in pisces season which is wonderful but you better believe that that energy in the universe is going to push you to be in that action seat when it comes to your life so i commend you to buckle up also buckle up with education always be learning education and you know i really would start with 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 the planets i would start with your birth chart i would start with what you resonate with there and go from there highly suggest human design as well just get educated really learn these things save the opinions and just come open as a as an open mind explore life with curiosity and with an open mind and 
and understanding that everything that aligns with you, everything that is meant for you is yours. And nothing that is not is not. And if you are presented in a situation where you, you're presented with um, something that's not for you, you have a choice right there. Reject it. Send it back. Return to sender. I'm not doing This is not for me. So, and that's, that comes in the, the idea of setting your boundaries. The notion of setting your boundaries. It's so important. Teach people how to treat you. Teach people how they're not going to treat you. It's very, very, very important. So one of the main facts today, one of the main things was um, let go of control and trust that the universe is aligning us to where we are meant to be. Comfort zones are for overthinking, being in the head, wanting to plan every single thing that's going forward and being just so comfort in that unlaunchable place, uh, mind space, where you're literally manifesting a life where there indeed is no launch space. You never ever um, actually get up from the comfort zone and head to the launch pad where you're ready to ascend to the next version of yourself. And in order to do so, in order to ascend to the next version of yourself, you must gracefully release the self you are today and step into that higher self literally tomorrow. You say to yourself, I love you enough, I respect you enough to commit to the life, the habits, the style, the things, the language, the mindset, the movements, the tasks, all of that that's going to ascend me to my higher self. I commit it. I commit to myself. I will. <sighs> Gracefully release. Thank you. Thank you, self, for getting me to where I am today. This comfort zone has been absolutely so comfortable and wonderful and I learned so many lessons to get to this space in my life and I've learned so many lessons and I release you. I am ready for the next place in my life and I open my eyes to absolute pure, pure discovery with the eyes even of just, just an infant fresh into the world. You are the designer. You get to design your life. And once you get this awareness and you get to take control and you get to actually choose what aligns with you and what doesn't, that is when life begins. <laughs> it's so wonderful. I, I, I love delivering that and just being able to, to be a light in that because it's possible for a good life, guys. I, wherever you are, where, whatever you are up to, whatever comfort zone you are relaxing in, I promise you, I promise you there's something so much higher, something bigger for you that if you just let go of the need, the want, the audacity to know exactly what's next, ah, let it go. You will not be able to see it. What I say is our, our human brains cannot even imagine what the universe has for us. So just trust, self-trust, believe, believe that you deserve it and flee. Ah, let it go. Let it go and open those beautiful eyes to the curiosity of what the universe can bring to you. <laughs> so excited for you so excited and ah, I hope that you have the most beautiful day I'm going to enjoy this delicious bowl of cereal and go cuddle with my Maui my cat I love him so much and uh yeah I'm Melanie of Melamind have a great day